all right so a lot of people have asked for this so in this video we're going to show you how to export your points from Streamlabs or stream elements and then import them into flads bot point system for streamer bot so i'm gonna let td show you exactly how to export your points in stream elements hello people my name is terry dance and i'm going to be showing you how to get your csv file from stream elements so first thing you need to do is go to this this website this github website the link of it will be in the description but it is as you can see it's github.siltwick forward slash stream elements dash csv and you'll notice if you go down to releases there is a you click on that it brings up a page that looks like this so i have windows so i'm going to grab the windows one and it's going to download when it downloads just open that file and extract it somewhere where you will know where it is so we're going to press extract all from your browse and i've got a folder here called new folder select that folder and i'll put, I'll put everything in that new folder and it should load it up when it comes in there you go so now this is it, it all extracted what you need to do is open up this config file and you're going to put a key in there in there so we're going to open this config file edit with notebooks and you can see it needs your stream elements id so we're going to go grab that and how to grab that we go to stream elements and in the top corner you'll see your logo and you go press on your name and then you see you see this screen and what you need is this account id so we're going to copy that we're doing that now open that folder back up and just paste it in there and press save it is that easy we're doing that now then you'll see this button called all time and you can do double click on that yes you will get an error message but just run it anyway and it'll run and with, within a couple of seconds you will have your csv file already downloaded it's there and that is how easy it is to get your stream elements csv file back to galman thanks td so now that he's covered stream elements we're going to cover Streamlabs. So with your Streamlabs chatbot open, we're going to want to go and click on the little icon down here and then go to cloud. And then you should see a, fold, a button down here called export currency CSV. We're going to click that. And then that should tell you that your currency.csv file has been created. So now we can close completely out of this. And then since mine's on my desktop, you should see a currency.csv file right here. So I've already copied mine over to where I want it to be. You can leave yours there if you want, but you're just gonna have to note the file path to get there. So next we're gonna wanna put the import code into StreamerBot to run these commands. So I'm going to leave in the description down below and in the streamer bot discord, the import code for this to be done. So we're going to copy the import code and then we're going to import paste and then make sure there's no trailing spaces or anything. And you should see two importable actions, points transfer SC, points transfer SL. Then we're going to hit import. Then we want to go down and find those which should be under the category of points transfer system right here. So we're going to go to points transfer SE first and we're going to open up this execute code. Now if I hit compile, you're going to see I get a few errors. And even if I hit find refs, and then I hit compile again, the errors are still going to be there. So we're going to have to manually add the reference for here. So we're using Microsoft Visual Basic.file.io as a reference. 
So we're gonna go add the reference. And then we're gonna type in Microsoft.visual will bring up the list of what you need. And then just select Visual Basic.dll. Hit open and then hit compile and you will see the building out needed information compiled successfully. So we're gonna save this and we're gonna do the same thing for the Streamlabs one. References, add reference from file, Microsoft, Visual Basic .dll. We hit compile, compiled successfully. So now that that's done, we're gonna go over to commands and we wanna create whichever command that for the system you're using. So I obviously have two commands right here. One's called import points SE, one called import points SL. We just wanna make sure that the action is selected for the correct one. So for SE, I'm obviously gonna go down here and choose points transfer SE. And then I'm gonna go down to the SL and select the action for import, uh, import points SL to points transfer SL. And then if you wanna leave this in your streamer bot, I would advise putting it a mod only command. Um, that way normal users can't use it. But this is a command and an action that we can really run one time without having to use it again. So long as StreamerBot has seen most or all of your viewers that you're trying to transfer over from Streamlabs or Stream Elements. If StreamerBot has not seen any of the, the users that you're trying to transfer points over for, it will not transfer the points or the watch time for Streamlabs. So we've made it to where it can be run multiple times but it won't add additional points to people that have already been transferred. So you can leave it in here if you want to, but I would just delete it out if you do are doing a one-time transfer. So we're gonna hit okay. We're gonna save that. So one other thing we need to do is depending on the system that you're using, if you're using SE or you're using stream, uh, SL, Streamlabs or Stream Elements, you need to go into the right action and under this file path, you need to put the path and the file name to the exported file. And then once you do that and hit okay, we'll save it. And then it should import from the CSV file all your points for stream elements and points and watch time for Streamlabs. So if I go in here and type import points SL, it'll run the action and then it will import all the points from that CSV file and then give me a message in chat saying all Streamlabs points have finished transferring. And that's pretty much it. After you're done with that, you can remove the commands, delete the actions, or if you know that you have other viewers that'll come over eventually, I might disable the commands, leave the actions, and then when you're ready to run it again to add those new uh, viewers that StreamerBot hasn't seen yet, then you can re-enable them and run them again when you're ready. Special thanks to TD for helping me out with this video. Um, it was a blast to do. <clears throat> A uh, special shout out to Flad for the point system for StreamerBot where we're importing this stuff into in the first place. And if you like this video, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe. I appreciate everybody that has so far. I'm planning on pushing out more videos, more things for StreamerBot in the weeks to come. I've got another channel point reward that I'm hoping to drop soon for people to check out. I also stream over on Twitch on Tuesday nights, Friday nights, and Saturday nights. We're always building stuff and putting stuff together for StreamerBot. Come hang out with us. That's where people get first say on how things are gonna um, 
function, how new ideas are created, and it's an overall blast. So until next time. So we do it, yeah.